This continued violence is simply not acceptable and it will be stopped. We will not put up with this in our country. We will not allow a culture of fear to exist on our streets. Let me be clear. At COBRA this morning we agreed. Full contingency planning is going ahead. Whatever resources the police need, they will get. Whatever tactics the police feel they need to employ, they will have legal backing to do so. What, we will do whatever is necessary to restore law and order onto our streets. Every contingency is being looked at. Nothing is off the table. The police are already authorised to use baton rounds, and we agreed at COBRA that while they're not currently needed, we now have in place contingency plans for water cannon to be available at 24 hours' notice. It is all too clear that we have a big problem with gangs in our country. For too long, there's been a lack of focus on the complete lack of respect shown by these groups of thugs. I'm clear that they are in no way representative of the vast majority of young people in our country who despise them, frankly, as much as the rest of us do. But there are pockets of our society that are not just broken, but frankly sick. When we see children as young as 12 and 13 looting and laughing, when we see the disgusting sight of an injured young man with people pretending to help him while they are robbing him, it is clear there are things that are badly wrong in our society. For me, the root cause of this mindless selfishness is the same thing that I have spoken about for years. It is a complete lack of responsibility in parts of our society, people allowed to feel that the world owes them something, that their rights outweigh their responsibilities, and that they, their actions do not have consequences. Well, they do have consequences.